All right, everybody. I'm glad you guys clicked through to check this out. And I have to go pretty quickly, but you can always rewind it. But what we're going to look at now is the process of going and finding the website, going to CB Publish, if you're deciding to um, purchase hosting. You come over here to CB Publish, and you look at the side, and you see this Start Logic banner. Now, when you click on it, what you'll do is go to Choose Your Plan. Now, I have another video that was from a previous week that you can go back and check out where Troy Johnson of AALBC actually shows you the process of registering your domain. So what we'll do is I'll show you this part of it. You'll use the pro if you're signing up through my site, and then you can check your domain, and you can go from there. Well, Troy did a good job of presenting that, so I want you to go back and check out that from week two. I think it maybe was week two. But as of right now, what I'm going to do is log in to one of my domains and... What you'll be able to see is the inside of my dashboard. So this is the Start Logic panel. This is my dashboard. Okay. The primary thing that you guys want to know about and you want to check out is in a dashboard, you're going to have all of these different options, right? Well, inside of webmail, if you click your webmail, yours may be named something else, but this will allow me to go in and log in and check out my email inside of webmail. But Mail Central allows me to set up email addresses. So right here you see four email addresses, right? Well, I can add an info at cbpublish.com, right? And if I search for it, you'll notice I don't have one, so it doesn't show up. But if I want to create a new email, then I click on new info, I click on new, new mailbox, and then I go to info and CB publish and then I create a password one two three four five six and I click create and they want a more specific word I'll say Chris one two three and let's see what happens here in a digit dot create so now I'm making the mailbox correct well once the mailbox is made you see it here, info, and I can go to view. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click and open this mailbox up. Now, what I want to do is go to mail delivery because I already have a lot of emails. I don't want another email that I have to check. So I'm going to add another email here that forwards to my oldest email account. And I'll add it. Well, this is what's going to happen now. Whenever email comes into info at CB Publish, it's going to forward to CB17, CBPub17 at hotmail.com. All right, you see that? It's very straightforward. That's how easy it is to set up uh, an email for your new account. All right, so let's go backwards here. And I'm going to actually, I think I'm probably going to delete that after a second, but I'm going to go back to the home page inside of the dashboard. Now, this is the other area that you need to know. When you get ready to um, set up your website, I probably should should have put the mouse tracker on because you can't see the mouse, but you can see where I'm mousing over by what's being highlighted. Inside of this folder, the public underscore HTML, when I click it, you see this drop-down menu that comes open. But over here on the inside, you'll see these things kind of highlight themselves. I'm just clicking so you can see where the mouse is. Well, inside of this folder, when you originally set up your website, there's going to be a page that's called home.html, or it's going to be called index.html, okay? And you see right here where you see this index1.html, it's in the middle of the page. Well, you're going to remove that page by simply clicking here and you click this X and it goes away completely. Now, once that's done, this is a file manager folder. You can upload things to this folder. You can go in and you can add folders, but it's something that you need to check out. All right, so I'm going to leave the file manager and I'm going to come back to the home page. Now, on Start Logic, Start Logic has a very uh, cool dashboard feature and it's called Simple Scripts. And it's down here where you see the website and you have your email and domain and analytics and all of this different stuff. 
Well, you go to Simple Scripts, and Simple Scripts allows you to install content management systems. And the CMS I use is WordPress. All right, so you can have what are called one click installs. And you click one click installs, and down here you'll see blogs and website buildings. Instead of building your site from scratch using HTML or CSS and having to know how to code, you can install WordPress or Joomla or some other content management system. And what ends up happening is you have installs, and those installs become the websites. So what you see in here is CB Publish, cbpublish.com slash bbz, cbpublish.com slash shop. Um, you have all of these different installs in here, and they don't take up very much space at all. But the great thing about it is it allows you to um, install your site. And basically what you end up having once you install one of these programs is your page looks like, let's go back home. back to this page what your site is up oh, I just want to show you really quick over here to the side I'm going to scroll down and I want you to look at how much space is being used I have an unlimited amount of space I have unlimited bandwidth I'm not using very much space at all it, it's a it's it's a great option to have but once you set up everything and you do it the correct way your site ends up looking like this so you have a website and that's a WordPress website. All right. So I'm going to show you some other things and I'm going to put another video up. But that's it for this video. And I just wanted to give you kind of an overview, an introduction to what the inside of a dashboard looks like inside of a hosting service. I hope this helped you out a little bit. That's it for now. See you guys um, next week.